Legend of Total War here with part 96, I think, of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, we had a huge fight for Mediolanum. Um, they just kept sending wave after wave trying to stop my siege, and it ended up cost costing them the city with that assault. However, the settlement is in bad shape for public order. This needs to go. Um, it seems like the Romans either just conquered the settlement and they just didn't build anything here for public order. This is why I prefer to go after bigger settlements. Usually they've, they've built it up a little bit more. The only thing I can see here that's actually got some public order are these two. Everything else is just like they didn't bother with it. Now, if this guy... Oh, shit, no, he's no good. My Lord. He's lost a lot of influence lately. He used to have maximum. I think. He's getting old. I think they both are. Yeah, shit. They're feeling their age. Damn. That's going to make things difficult for me if that happens. How's this guy down here? He, he's still fairly young. He's got lots of influence. Actually, I need him up up there. Okay, we recovered quite a few of our cavalry. That's good. From the battle. Probably due to the amount of um, infantry that we lost. We didn't lose that much. But, um... Alright, let's have a look here at this. Our faction ratings gone through the roof. Look at, that's what happened after the last battle. They went from here to there, straight away. It's all just down to military ranking, because they threw so many troops at us and just got fucked up. Seems like our finances are not as good as they used to be, probably because I've been hiring some more troops. But that's okay, there's no point having like tons of money in the bank. Orders. If you're not doing anything with it. Um, I'm really going to need some more family members over here, aren't I? But they're, like... Ages away. This guy here is no good. He's no good. I'm seeing if I can find anyone. This guy here is. The. Need people with high influence. Sir. Forward. No more moves, sir. Look at this guy, he's 19 years old. Let's get him over there. Move out. Forward. Come on, shit. Onward. He can certainly maintain public order. Too old. All we need are young people. This guy's only 30. It's not too, too old. Um, yeah, send him over. Send him by boat. Moves depleted, sir. We're not looking for management, we're looking for influence. Management doesn't improve public order. Like, yeah, it increases income, but, you know, whatever. Hang on, this guy here was 33. 62. 33 is not too bad. Move the, the watchtower there. I've got the money. It's fine. So sending these governors over there, like a full full rack of um, influence, is the same as like like half of a full garrison. It provides a lot of bonus. Must be summer or something. Maybe he's sick. No, summer campaign. Oh, summer campaigning. This guy could die at any moment. He's getting very old. Fucking all of those guys recovered. The ones that we possibly could retrain. Anyway, this needs to be destroyed. So does that. Right, so a quick save. And quick load. Or else it's not going to recognize it. I'm actually surprised this settlement maintained public order because it didn't give me the option to um, 
to um, exterminate the settlement or whatever. Okay, good. So this needs to be repaired. There's no in no unrest, but I reckon it's just because of this guy here. I think he's got a lot of stuff that improves his um his things. Hopefully he can live just long enough for this guy to get here. Need that right away so we can retrain our troops. You can see that the Arabs, they're really not in good shape right now. They've only got two settlements left. How's that guy over here doing? It's almost become a huge city. We're almost there. So yeah, we want to try and get these guys, like, down south. Uh, well, to go and help it up against the Arabs. I don't know if I really need their help now against them. It's almost over. The Romans have still got a lot of fight left in them, but, you know, we, we beat them up pretty well. Um, there were four units in here before, and now there's only three. What we'll do is we'll come back over here and besiege it again. Next turn, they'll get a whole heap of recovery. Got no information on who's there. I need to get a bit closer, I suppose. It's probably these two plus a general. Possibly. Even though we've got like one or two additional guys in here for, for the next fight at Suggesta, it's probably still best we don't auto-resolve it. Not while there's a general in there. Because having lots of command does affect the order resolve chance of success. But like I said though, these guys here, they're they're completely expendable. It's just that I, I can recruit them here and it's helping me to keep the population in check. Okay, we don't need to keep that many in the queue. I want to keep it growing a little bit, but just not too fast. Thing is here the settlement's growing very quickly because we exterminated the huge city now it's getting its population back and um, all, all the squalor all the squalor that comes with it it's just needed to buy us a bit of time to you know get our um, get these buildings done what building will that replace will it be this one it probably would be Which is a shame, I don't want to replace that building because it um, provides us with competitions. But that being said, that provides us festivals. But the thing is, you can get both... Actually, why don't I do that? We can get... Biennial com competitions and festivals, pay the same amount, and actually get a little bit more public order. Then you go annual for both, then it pays 1600 That's You only do that if you're absolutely desperate. So... I won't replace that just yet. But then again, it does provide an extra 10 base public order. Again, guys, always ignore this public order bonus. If it doesn't say exactly what it's from, it's it's fake. It does just, it's a glitch. If I build this, it'll take 10 turns. It'll help a little bit in regard to the culture penalty, but only a little bit. Might be best off building that one first. Again, forgot about them. Need public order. Wonderful Temple of Ceres. The thing is though, like, if I was to build up my max temple, it would have the exact same bonuses as that. As that. So there's no point destroying it, I guess. Except for culture penalty. Which, you know, it wouldn't reduce it by that much. Most of the culture penalty comes from this building here. Right, we are having public order issues in this area. Yes, 
I don't think I'll need to hire any, any more of those right now. We're probably going to be stuck here for a little while. Alright, so how many territories do we have now? 99. We're like bang on halfway through the campaign right here. As far as territory is concerned. But don't forget we did start off with 25 regions. So what now? Got, we've got exactly half the map. Yeah, there's a hundred regions we don't have. Which then by makes it not exactly half the map. You can't get exactly half the map because it's an odd number. What am I gonna do about this? I mean, if I build if I build that a lot of unrest here. That'll get into seventy percent public order. Which might stop it from actually rising. And next turn maybe the the um, the unrest will go away a little bit. In fact, I'd prefer to do this one because that will not increase population growth. We don't want this region to grow too fast. Yes, so yeah, just keep them coming. But I think we're going to be stuck here for a little while. Alright, let's just build stuff. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything else. Good. Can up the taxes a bit more. Throw the population out. Don't need it as much now. Good to see these regions are growing. These regions just need, just got to be focusing so much on public order. We can't afford for them to revolt. And if you think about it this way, the less public order they have through buildings, the more you have to put in through garrison. So, you know, that's, it just costs money. So if you get there, if you keep focusing on public order, then say, you know, mining, um, end up saving more money this way. Because I do get some people saying, every now and again saying, how come we don't focus on mining? Well, actually, I do get mining as soon as it's, as the public order is under control. Public order has to come first. I mean, there's no point establishing a mine if you're going to lose the settlement because you can't maintain public order. I mean, that should be obvious. Okay, so only that region is really a problem. All right, well, the boat's ready to go. Come over here. I don't see any pirates over here. I guess this is a good chance to check if there will be any. Um, if you were to leave the region, the public order is still fine. All right, now we can recruit that, so you could you can get sent off now. Hang on, how many men do we need to leave behind here? Hmm. Right, well, that, that'll do, I suppose. Well, we can leave it there for for this one turn, because we can't go too far with the ships anyway. I suppose. So it's only providing 30% garrison bonus, right? So we need two of those. We need like 500 men to garrison the settlement. Okay, what about this one here? I want to get these guys down south as well. Can you leave? Yeah, you'll have to you'll have to build this. You'll have to stay here until then as well. Because those are good for um, public order, those guys. And over here, I'm not going to bother moving these guys out. I'm just going to disband them as they're no longer needed. Cutting it a bit close there. Probably best we get that first. Because they're more efficient to upkeep than the archers, I think. So 
So we've got reserve troops here, but you know, we're, we're, we've cut ourselves off in a way, but we've got them sandwiched at the same time. Alright, what else? Okay, now before I forget, this unit here needs to be retrained. So do that. And let's move on. I forgot about moving all that other stuff around. It doesn't matter. We're not in desperate need of um, reinforcements. We're in desperate need of good governors. Maybe I should build more um, schools in uh, close to the capital because that's where I'm going to get my best generals from. What did it show me? Okay, so Midiolanum came under siege. Didn't riot. That's good. Came under siege by... Mostly garbage. It's not going to be quite as good as what we had going with Bononia. They moved that other army out of there. And that doesn't mean that these guys can win here. Keep sending generals over there. I mean, it depends. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, he's here. Chances are it's still going to yield a defeat. I mean, unless I fight it manually, which I don't want to. I mean, the whole point of doing that was to do it. Then again, I would never be able to maintain public order. Ah, whatever. We'll just, we'll just keep it besieged so they can't do anything with the settlement. Wait, didn't, did they besiege something else? Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys as well, shit. I forgot I was doing stuff in Armenia. Guy made his way back over here. Oh shit, these guys need to be going back. Um, except for you. Sir. But you're blocked off. Oh, this came under siege. Right. But then again, they'll probably just Order. run away. Attack. No, they won't. Just weighing up my options here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to sally out and fight them. I reckon they'll just run away pretty much straight away. I'm going to put some archers up on the wall. Yeah. Because we need, we need a few more horse archers, I reckon, before we can really justify, you know, going at them head on. I really wish I had um, actually focused on this area a little bit last turn, but I, I totally forgot about it. Probably won't hit them from there, but whatever. Whatever, I don't give a shit. Oh, they can't hit them. Alright, cool. They're probably gonna run away. If, if we just get a few kills, that should do it. Aim for their um, foot archers, because you get the most kills on them. But the most valuable kills will be the Sarbation House, the, the Noble Horse Archers, but whatever, just kill whatever we can. They're able to kill so many of us. Those horse archers are so overpowered. Jeez, they nearly got more kills on me than I did on them, and I've got massive advantage being there.
Did we kill any horses? Yeah, one or two. I reckon they will run away. Okay, good. We actually handle it at uh, triple game speed. Yeah, see, there they go. That's fine. That's all I wanted. I didn't need to crush them. I just want them to go away. This, this settlement here is not really that defensible at the moment. So all of these guys, except for you, need to get back. If I go and attack him, he might move out of the way, but I don't know. We're not going to be able to leave this area just yet. Alright, I'm going to leave you in the fort, just for the time being, and send everyone back down south. Best you come down this way, it's safer. These guys here will need to go to Anatolia. It'll be quicker for them, I think. Got a few guys coming back. That boat to come pick you up. Ready. Yes, Captain. Yes, Stratagon. Need to get him to um to Italy as fast as I can. Ready to sail. My lord. Boarding. Yes, sir. Leaving the army. Off the boat. Okay, can you be retrained yes, to Pokemon? My lord. No. Move out. Out of move, sir. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. Let's drop them off Leave there, the stay army. there. South chariots need yes, retraining. Yes, Which reminds me, actually, these guys need to go back as well. Alright, let's build. Oh, hang on. Before we build anything, we've got to repel the Romans, don't we, over here? They're probably going to try and stop these guys. Like I said, I don't care if all of them die. Easy come, easy go. But this isn't as defensible as Bononia, I know that. Maybe I should build the stone walls. But then again, I'm not trying to be defensible here. We need to maintain public yes, order. I reckon there was a spy in there, and that's why there's less unrest. So, prepare for battle. The odds are massively in our favour. It's all just their levy garbage that they've been hiring from all over the place. With a few of their, their best units left over, which they can't train anymore. Coming home to find foreigners all over their land. Shameful, Rome. Shameful. Oh. Alright, well, I have to set, uh, come out from here, I think. Oh, God, I hate doing this. Organizing myself a little bit better, just get everyone out at the same time. What I'll do here is I'll pause the recording because these guys are going to take forever to come out. Maybe like fucking 10 minutes. And when they're finally all out, we'll resume and march on our way to fight them. Okay, my guys are all out of the city and they're just moving into position now. Just run them around everywhere. So they're getting a little bit tired, but it's okay. We're going to start off with a skirmish and try and shoot their general if we can, who are just Germanic levy. Spearman, let me just see. What's their armor rating? Basically, it's four. 
So we really shouldn't have any trouble killing them. I don't see any long range units of their own. But we have to get up front. And the thing is, we put these guys up front, they might charge at us. Oh well. The thing is though, you know, not all of my guys are even out here yet. Yeah, see, they're going to keep him well out of range. Yeah, get ready to fall back. Okay, they're going to run right through a gap in my forces. If they don't fall back. You two, give them a shot in the back before these guys get in front of you. Well, that's a decent amount. The thing is, look, five of them shooting at the front killed three. Two of them shooting at the back killed like ten. So I gotta try and shoot them in the back. I mean, that's that's obvious though. Shields don't come into play, and I can imagine getting shot in the back of the head. Would hurt. Or even just like getting a pelt shot in the anus, that would hurt. If I can get a pelt shot right in the gooch, that'll, that'll teach him. I guess you don't, don't know what the gooch is. The gooch is the area between the balls and butthole. Let me tell you, getting kicked in the gooch hurts. Okay, you desert. Alright, what are we doing here? They're still out of range. Let's get in a bit closer then. Because I really want to kill this general. He's, he's vulnerable to, to the shot, but they they desperate to keep him out of it. I know I don't mind just shooting everything else. I mean, we could just go up there in pike formation. They can't. They're not going to get through our lines. Not even their um their best infantry going to get through. These guys here should be pretty easy to shoot because they don't have much armor. And by reducing their numbers, it'll be easier for us to to just brick wall them. Get back behind the line because all these guys are coming at us. Quickly before they shoot. Okay, hang on. They're gonna. They're running back. Now it's the perfect time to shoot them. they uh, stop and turn around I should do the same yeah, stop and shoot him specifically shoot that one there right in the back even though they're already not very armored still shooting him in the back should do heaps more oh man they got shredded Skirmish is going very nicely, I think. Apart from the fact we're not actually killing their general, but still. Getting a lot of free kills here. Yeah. 
Alright, move forward again. Gotta make sure our line extends beyond theirs. Because the real weakness of a, of a pike is if you get around it. Flanking just destroys pike units. They're planning on leaving now. Or are they gonna shoot? Doesn't matter, it's just slingers. Whoops. Come on, break. No, they didn't break. Right, get back. Oh, they did. Okay, good. So we got, you know, 22%, almost free kills. I mean, we did take a little bit of damage with the slingers, but they can always just go back to capital for retraining. This guy's not getting out of here, I'll tell you that much. slaughter them. They should be already tired, so you've got plenty of time to shoot them. But don't waste your time. That's it. There's no point chasing after them now. Too hard to reach them. They're too far away. So we just let them go. And we managed to kill 30% of them. That's not too bad. How long is it going to take them to get off the fucking map? Just go, you piece of shit. They must have- Oh, you got to be shitting me. Alright, go kill him. Dead for wasting my time. So 14 men lost, but then again, we would have recovered two or three of them. sorted them out. There's still a lot of Romans in the area. I thought they'd give us a break for a little while. But then again, if we have a look at this, their military ranking, that huge battle that we had during the end turn only really accounted for that much of their power. So they must have a lot of armies, or maybe their best armies are just somewhere else. Because they, they conquered all this land from somewhere. I don't see how they could have done that with, with levy garbage.
could hire a bunch of mercenaries, but like I said, I don't really care that much. The thing is, even when we take it, it's going to be hard to maintain public order there without one of these governors. Alright, let's build stuff. Okay, if this happens when you get big. Alright then, public uh, population growth here is pretty good. Public order is even better. I doubt there's any corruption. Yeah, so just go ahead with it anyway. It's, it's a good economic building. is that public order here's actually yeah we need that because we need to grow this much. then again building that might unlock some new buildings because you need like the market for the, the sewer system or something or the public baths okay Tarsus yep we can jump that up to very high taxes Let's in, instead of um, increasing the population growth, let's focus more on public order because I don't want to. I want to keep it at very high taxes. Just want to make sure I don't have to drop it because that guy's old. Good. Good to see that one growing. Going to a huge city. Okay, Mero has finally become a huge city. Alright, so what can we do here to, to maximize our public order? I mean, he's still got a few years left in him. Possibly. What we need to do here is actually lower population growth. And it'll also increase law. We're not going to be able to build the next tier thing because it doesn't have a port. And I think it's a level 3 government, yeah. But that's probably our best best chance at the moment to um, improve public order. We definitely don't want to increase the, the population growth. Actually, on that regard, we should probably destroy this. Because if we, if we can get the population to actually go into the negative, um, it will reduce um, the amount of people in there obviously and reduce squalor so is there anything else here that will reduce like base population growth like I think if we destroy the market that would help a little bit but at the same time I don't want to destroy the market we'll end up rebuilding the granary once um, once public orders once that guy's dead and public order is under control Shit, running low on money. Okay, we can make do. I've only got a few more buildings left to build. Go with cheap things that are going to provide, provide just that little bit extra public order. here um yeah go with that oh we just didn't quite know we need to build something in mediolanum fuck patala well actually i know what to do there's places that are recruiting a lot so for example if we cancel that one that gives us enough money to build at mediolanum 
Alright, so what do we need here? Can we build anything yet? Okay, that'll give us Celtic Levy Spearmen. That'll be good for Garrison, so let's get that going. Okay, that seems to be all we can do this turn. Is there any retraining or anything I need to do? I don't think so. Yes, Stratigos. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, I forgot about him. He'll go by boat as well, I think. Those two governors. I'll bring them both with some reinforcements. Actually, I put all the uh, the guys that I sent back for retraining into another army. Oh, I should bring back elephants with this. Even though they are expensive. Let's get one of those in there. So they'll bring the elephants with them. You can stay on the boat for the time being. Actually, what am I doing? They should stay inside the settlement. I don't know. So yeah, we didn't really make very much money during this turn. But everything still seems to be pretty much under control. This guy sucks. Um, I'll just send him during the um, during spring or whatever. I'm stuck here for a little while. How are we going over here? How's the public order? It seems okay, but this guy's got so much influence that... Um, okay, good, now we can recruit them. He's got so much influence that that's probably largely affecting the public order. See, if I was to tell him to leave the settlement... Okay, the settlement is... Will, actually, will be under control. Especially if I just, like, spam these units. There's only, like, a thousand people in there. Only one of them will be needed for public order. I can test this out by taking these over here first. Yeah, see, the public order will be fine. Alright, what are we going to do with you? Um, get over here, and I'll send the ship around to pick you up. And you'll help us conquer northern Italy. Or, or maintain it. Yeah, I'll send you to Batavium, actually. Can we recruit any ships around here? Yeah, let's get a ship there. I'll send them to Ariminum, and then they can sail across... Is that the Rubicon? I don't know. Up here to, to Batavium. We'll build that just for safe keeping. That should help with public order. Alright, what else are we going to do here? Let's build a few things and then we'll end the video there. I don't want to get into another battle just yet. Always a chance of crashing. Okay, Jerusalem. Excellent. Um, it's a huge city and it's got... It doesn't have great public order, but this is on the highest tax bracket. I suppose we can start knocking down um, the population a little bit by building that stuff up. And that'll also help with public order a lot. That's why I don't usually build that until it gets to huge city, because we need usually need every single building that you can get to get it to huge city in the first place. Except for cities like Alexandria, which have like 20 base public order uh, population growth, could just get a grain. Okay, wh which region is this? It's all the way out here. What does it need? I bet that'll do. Shit, I'm out of money already. And just happened to be this turn I said, hey, let's let's hire an elephant.
Well, that'll slow down my plans a little bit. Okay, now these guys... Oh, that's right. They have to get all the way out here if they want to get retrained. It is faster to go buddy, back down here. And they're still faster than these guys. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so whatever. Um... I just gotta remember to keep sending them back that way. So when that elephant's done, we'll send these guys uh, over to the east. Uh, to the west, I mean. Alright, well with that, we'll end the video there. So guys, like and subscribe. Part 97, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.